welcome to 5 minute school and in today's video we're going to be discussing cardiac output so the definition of cardiac output is the volume of blood which is pumped per minute by each ventricle and to understand this further we must first be able to define what cardiac rate and stroke volume is so cardiac rate is the pumping ability of the heart in beats per minute and the stroke volume is the volume of blood which is ejected from the heart per heartbeat. Now there is an equation to work out cardiac output. So cardiac output is um, cardiac rate times stroke volume. So if you think about it, cardiac output means the volume of blood pumped per minute by each ventricle. Cardiac rate is the pumping ability of the heart in beats per minute. Stroke volume is volume of blood ejected from the heart per heartbeat. So it only makes sense that the cardiac output is these two figures, whatever they are, multiplied by each other. Now we're going to talk about a example of um, uh, these measurements. So we have a patient who has a cardiac rate of 70 beats per minute. And his stroke volume is measured at 75 milliliters per beat. Now, what is this patient's cardiac output? So, we implement the numbers which we've been given into this equation. So, the cardiac rate is uh, 70 beats per minute, and the stroke volume is 75 beats per minute. So, we multiply them together, and we get an answer which is 5,250. But the issue with this is that a uh, the answer is in milliliters and not in liters. So, as we can see here, the units for cardiac output is liters per minute, the units for cardiac rate is beat per minute, and the units for stroke volume is milliliters per beat. So since it's in liters, the cardiac output, we must divide this number by a thousand, because at the moment it's currently in milliliters, because uh, we use stroke volume which was measured in milliliters. So you divide this figure by a thousand and you'll get 5.25 liters per minute. Now, um, just a quick point is that if a person is like exercising, for example, there will obviously be an increase in the cardiac output because um, obviously the cardiac rate will increase and the stroke volume will also increase as well. Uh, that's everything I want to discuss in today's video. It's just a very brief video today. I hope you find this video useful and thank you very much for watching.